Sister Mary, tell me, what's it like meeting men in prison? You bond with all the convicts, or was Carlos just special? Well, of course, Carlos is special. But our mission does a ton of evangelical work with several prisons. Oh, I get it. Sort of like today's convict is tomorrow's convert. <laughs> Something like that. But mostly I do charity work. Are you two involved in any charities? Currently? Uh, no. Uh, but we should be. I mean, let's face it, Gabby. Buying more stuff isn't going to make our lives any better. Exactly. Money can't buy happiness. Well, sure it can. That's just a lie we tell poor people to keep them from rioting. Gabby! It's a joke. Lighten up. Hey, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry to wake you, sir, but there was a problem dropping off the gift. Yes, and she's uh, right here with me. This is Gabrielle. Who the hell is this? Yes, I got your token of esteem, and I'm not impressed. Because you're freaking me out, that's why. No, I don't care how much it costs. That's beside the point. Really, that much? Tell him if he doesn't stop harassing you, you're gonna call the cops. Look, I know you're trying to be romantic, but if you keep this up, I'm gonna be forced... <laughs> what do you say? That's very sweet of you, but I am not the most beautiful woman in the world. Tell him you're gonna get a restraining order on him. Yes, I, I may be in the top 10. Gabby! Hey, I'm talking here. Your voice sounds so familiar. Do I know you? He says I know him and that he wants to reintroduce himself at dinner. Absolutely not. I would not feel comfortable meeting for dinner. Good girl. How about lunch? Gabby! You have to promise to stop buying me these expensive gifts. <laughs> Because I'm not that kind of girl. Well, for that many carrots, yes, I could be that kind of girl. <laughs> um, I gotta go. <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, how about that? And here I was thinking some guy wants to murder me in my sleep. Night's still young. Was the funeral sad? Tragic. They found out everything Victor had is in Milton's name. And he told his father about us, so I'm not getting a penny. Wow. Well, it's a good thing you hooked up with another rich guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Gabby, you sound weird. Why do you sound so weird? Gabby. I got a beat on Charlie Fields for CFO. Charlie Fields. There's no way you're gonna get him. He's the number two guy at Brewster and Perrin. Relax. It'll take some maneuvering, but I'll make it happen. How? Carlos, you're the president. It's best you don't know where the bodies are buried. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Well, speak of the devil. If you'll excuse me, I have some professional ethics that need compromising. <laughs> wow, now I know why you wanted to hire her. She's a force of nature. You should see her close a deal. I bet. So were you surprised when the door opened? What do you mean? Well, she's obviously stopped counting calories since the last time you saw her. No, she looks about the same. What? But... You two used to have sex? Yeah, so? So don't get me wrong, she's attractive. It's just she's not really your type. Your type is skinny model. Okay, so you're not going to see her on a runway. Except maybe at an airport. Gabby! You think I'm that shallow that all I go by is looks? Yeah, I thought that was something we had in common. Gabby, come on. For God's sakes, will you take those off? It's 8 o'clock at night. As long as you don't mind people thinking you're out on the town with your anemic lesbian sister. There's our man of honor. <laughs> Gabby, this is Stephanie. She put this whole banquet together. 
Hi, nice to meet you. You're probably wondering why I look like this. Excuse me? I'm not ill. I'm just not wearing any makeup so I can teach my daughter that beauty is what's on the inside. I don't actually look this hideous. Okay. Will you please stop explaining yourself? I mean, it was bad enough when you did it with the valet. Can't help it. I don't want people thinking I condone this face. I'm gonna go find our table. Champagne? Oh, thank you. I'm not ill, I'm just not wearing any makeup. Gabby! Gotta go. There's my Carlos! Hi, Pia. Are these the girls? No, they're so grown up. <laughs> and Gabby. <laughs> Is it just me, or do you get more beautiful every time I see you? No, it's not just you. Come here, give me a hug. Let me see your palms. Gabby. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> line. Ivana, you should probably split before Carlos gets home. Oh, my. Yeah, I got off work early, so I let our cleaning woman go home. <laughs> Juanita, good job. Let's not go for early today. Okay, Daddy. <clears throat> Do you hear that? I think Celia fell down. Gabby! I don't understand. How could you not know you're Mexican? We eat Mexican food all the time. We eat Chinese food, too. Does that mean I'm Chinese? No, that just means your mother hates to cook. Well, apparently we have to spell everything out for you. You do know you're a girl, right? Gabby. What? Half the women in your family have mustaches. It could be very confusing. I love therapy. Really? Yeah, it's like a talk show where I'm the guest and the only topic is me. So it's helping? You talk to her about the doll? That, bup, 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 bup. That is confidential. First rule of therapy. Actually, first rule of therapy is no wine, but I'm gonna change that. I'm so glad this is working. I've been worried about you. <laughs> it's exactly what I needed. In fact, I'm gonna be going three times a week. Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Wow, that's a lot. Well, it was your idea. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, you're gonna have to take over my carpools on Mondays. That's okay, right? Sure, I guess I could move some things around. Oh, and no golf on Thursdays, because you'll have to take Juanita to ballet. Gabby, I do business on the links. Do you want me to get better or not? Okay. Okay, I will cancel golf. Oh, and on Friday, I have a gynecologist appointment. Gabby! That I need you to cancel. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great, though? <laughs> Let's go home, now. All right, I'm gonna count to three. One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters. You don't know any more fractions, do you? All right, that is it, smartass. I am calling your father. Now you better watch out, because this phone has a whoop-ass app. Hi, sweetie. I am just getting ready to meditate. Can I call you back? No, 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 no. Enough nurturing your inner child. I need you to come home and whack a couple of your outer ones. I can't come home until my treatment is complete. That's another 16 days. 
In 16 days, I can't guarantee you're gonna have children to come home too. You wouldn't believe the things that are going through my mind. Gabby? I'm just saying, I've got rocks, they've got backpacks, and there's a lake on the way to school. Look, I know that it has been tough on you with me being in rehab. You have no idea. I am losing my mind. I'm looking after your business. I'm running the house. I'm trying to keep the girls in line. Let me talk to Juanita. Juanita, talk to your father. Hey, Daddy. Anything biting? Karen kicked me out. Oh, my God, what happened? I don't know. Seems like everything I do lately gets her mad. Lately? She's a grouchy old lady. That's why we love and fear her. Nah, this is different. I think it's gonna take a while for her to cool down. And in the meantime, I got no place to go. Yeah. Well, you know, it's fun to stay at the YMCA. Not for me. I slept there once. Woke up at 2 in the morning with a guy massaging my feet. Well, at least she gave me my fishing pole so I won't starve to death. The church has a koi pond, right? There's that frontier spirit. Okay, Gabby, it's obvious you're not picking up my hints. No, I am. I'm just ignoring them. <sighs> Look, I'd offer you a room at my place, but my kids are young and loud. And I'm old and deaf. It's perfect. Thanks, Gabby. I'd ask Bree if I could crash with her, but she's got Orson over there. You need to be helping your mother out more, helping around the house. Thanks, honey. You've been a big help. I gotta call the girls. Bye. Gabby! Thank you.